trouble awaits a Caribbean man who allegedly forged signatures of two citizens coalition for change top officials on his nomination papers as a parliamentary candidate at Chinoy Magistrates Court on Wednesday. Police are now keen to question the culprit, Andrew Mutsau, who is unknown within the rank and file of the main opposition movement and wants to spoil it for Triple C's candidate, Shine Gwagwaba. He allegedly forged signatures of Triple C officials, Mutsa Murombezi and MP Conciliar Chinanjavana, who were designated signatories for councillors across Mashonal and West. Triple C insiders say it remains a mystery how the frauds are got access to the pay signatures which he unfortunately attached wrongly on his House of Assembly nomination forms which were signed for by a different pair of signatories. Parliamentary nominees yet their candidatures authenticated by lawyers Innocent Chagonda and Stabile Mulilo. Triple C interim provincial chairman and aspiring senator Ralph Magunje confirmed his party was seized with bringing Mutsau to book for fraud. We have been to Zek where we lodged a complaint and police were one of the signatories. Madam Rombez has made representations that will help in bringing the culprit to book. As Triple C, we are determined to fix the mess of double candidature caused by this fault, sir, said Magunji. Last Friday, Rombez spent over three hours at Ichinoi Criminal Investigations Department Law and Order, where she endured interrogation by detectives. Triple C has identified at least 20 cases of fraudulent registration of candidates under its banner with some on sex list professing ignorance on how their names got there. Triple C has since approached Zek over the matter with the hope the names are struck off the final list expected on June 30. Double candidates under Triple C cropped up after nomination day across the country, leading to the party facing massive backlash for deciding to use its new consensus candidate selection process instead of traditional primary elections. Triple C spokesperson Fajima Harris said extra candidates in Mount Pleasant, where she will be running Harare East, Harare Central, Harare South, Harare North, Headcliff, Redfield, April South, Tunguza North, Tunguza South, St. Mary's Churu, and Warren Park should be struck off the final ballot paper by Zek. Similar issues were raised for signing Del Intumbani in Blawayo, Kariba, Masingo, and Marondera. The signatures that appear on those forms are forged. The logo that appears on their forms that is being used is a complete forgery. The bottom line is that their candidate submission is a complete forgery, a complete invalidity, a nullity, and it is going to be dealt with intensively, Mayere was quoted as saying.